Hello, I'm communication skills expert Pamela Jett, and I'm here to share with you powerful tools for responding with tact and finesse to criticism, sometimes known as constructive criticism, feedback, or negative feedback. Regardless of our job description, we are all on occasion given criticism, and it is wise for us to know how to respond in a way that keeps us confident, capable, and professional. From my perspective, there are two basic types of feedback or criticism. One is accurate and well-intended. One is inaccurate and still well-intended. The other is accurate but not well-intended, meaning they don't really have your best interest at heart. And the other is inaccurate, meaning wrong and not well-intended. So let's talk about responding to accurate and well-intended criticism. This is criticism that is coming from someone who has your best interest at heart. And not only are they trying to be helpful, the feedback they're delivering is accurate. It's on target. It is very helpful. The savvy professional knows that they want to respond to this feedback in a professional way. And the best way to do so is to simply say thank you say thank you. Now you can also say thank you, I'll look into that, or thank you, I plan on making some changes, or thank you, here's what I've learned for the future. But to say anything other than thank you can make you sound defensive and as if you are not able to take that feedback. The second type of criticism is inaccurate and well-intended. This again comes from someone who is trying to be helpful, not hurtful. They have your best interest at heart. The challenge is they may not have the full story. They may not have their facts straight. Essentially, their criticism is inaccurate. Regardless of whether it is inaccurate or accurate, the best response remains to say thank you. Because when you say thank you as opposed to getting defensive, you increase the likelihood that they will continue to give you feedback in the future. And because this person is well-intended, we don't want to stop them from giving us that helpful feedback. So we simply say thank you, and then you can decide whether you want to make changes or not. The third type of criticism is accurate, but it's not well intended. This is someone who is trying to be hurtful. This is someone who is trying to embarrass you, shame you, or make you feel less. And yet their feedback is accurate. It's on target. And these are the kinds of people that we want to not reward by getting flustered or defensive. The way a pro handles this kind of feedback is to, again, use our phrase, thank you. Say thank you for pointing that out to me or I'll look into that or I appreciate your feedback. Thank you. You don't have to accept their criticism. You get to decide in any of these situations what to do with the criticism but deny them the satisfaction of getting flustered. Say thank you. The most difficult kind of feedback to respond to is that feedback that is inaccurate, that criticism that is wrong. They don't have their facts straight and it's not well intended. Now this person is interesting. All they're trying to do is rattle you. They do not care whether their feedback or criticism is accurate or inaccurate. They're just looking to push your buttons. Well, I believe that the very best thing you can do is deny them that satisfaction of seeing you sweat. Say thank you. And again, you don't have to respond with anything other than thank you for pointing that out to me. You get to decide what to do with the feedback, but the best response to constructive criticism is to say thank you. My encouragement to you is to think about what you've learned in the past few moments and ask yourself how will knowing to say thank you to criticism help me in my career? How will this work for me? If you've enjoyed this session, I would encourage you to check out my learning resources, which are available at my website, www.jetct.com. You may choose also to contact me via social media, or you can also visit my website and email me directly for more information on how to bring this program or programs like this to your organization. Again, my name is Pamela Jett, and I'm a communication skills expert, and I look forward to working with you or staying connected in the future.